Hello, this is Dago Sondervan, and I'm going to show you today some tricks to program a bass drum. And for convenience, we'll be using a sequencer to put in some notes into the Nord drum. I'm using C3 as a MIDI note to trigger the first channel of the Nord drum. And I'm pushing the copy and paste buttons at the same time to initialize the sound. In the tone and noise section, I like to uh, set the balance completely to the tone. And because we're making a bass drum, we're going to turn down the pitch way low. I want to use another waveform, so I'm going to change it to an analog style triangle wave. It gives me the option to add a second detuned waveform later on. I'm increasing the decay to have a longer tone to work with. I'm looking for something to thicken up the sound, so I'm going to add some distortion. I'm going to use a little pitch bend that will add some edge to the beginning of the sound. And we'll throw in the click section to have a nice spiky attack in our bass drum sound. And I'm going to use a short pulse for that purpose. And then adjust the gain of the click. I'm bringing in the noise section again. And fiddle around with the filter until we have the desired noise uh, we're looking for. If we make the noise longer, we're gonna have a more dirty kind of sound. And then I'll change the EQ of the complete channel again. For now I'm gonna add a little bit of punch and change some timbre settings because when you're using pads to actually play the Nord drum the timbre settings have a lot of influence how the Nord drum reacts to velocity and for showing those values I will use a new MIDI clip as you can see there are a lot more velocity values drawn in this clip so we can hear how the Nord drum responds to it. By changing the spectra values of the waveform, we get a lot more character into the sound by adding a second detuned waveform. And by tweaking the timbre parameters, we can clearly hear an interesting second tone coming up that responds uh, really well to velocity. And balancing the upper and lower decay levels, meaning low velocity and high velocity, are crucial to make our bass drum a really dynamic instrument. You can clearly hear how changing the low velocity decay levels makes the tone sound longer on softer played notes. If you turn the decay level past 50, something interesting happens. The high velocity notes will become short, while the, the low velocity notes will stay long. Changing those values makes your bass drum really expressive. And you'll see when you use a kick drum pad, 
your bass drum sound will be a lot more responsive to what you play. And we can also make the filter in the noise section respond to the velocity as well. Increase the resonance of the filter and adjust the filter envelope. today hope to see you next time on a new episode of tweaking the nord drum 2 up close